What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Cerule Edge team for ranked Regulation F. Now, Cerule Edge, super dope Gen 9 Pokemon, doesn't really see the light that much in Regulation F. And to be honest, I believe this is my first time using it in Regulation F. So this one should be a fun one, and we're gonna look to try to grab some wins with this guy. He's got Flash Fire with Clear Amulet as his item, Rock and Bitter Blade, that's a signature move, with Poltergeist, Sword Stance for that plus two attack boost, and last but not least, Protect. So the plan here is to set up Shrewl Edge, pop a nice big time Sword Stance, and then really just get rolling out with that Pokemon. Like I said, I always like Shrewl Edge, but just haven't used it too much in this new format. Another Pokemon on today's team is going to be Ting Lu. Now Ting Lu, really powerful when going up against special attackers due to its Vessel of Ruin ability. Vessel of Ruin lowers special attack by 25% to all Pokemon on the field when Ting Lu is on the field. So again, really good Pokemon when going up against special attackers. Ting Lu's move pool consists of Stop and Tangent, Throat Chop, Protect, and Heavy Slam. Really do like this one considering he can pretty much just one shot Flutter Mains with Heavy Slam. Our final four Pokemon on today's team is going to be Ogre Pond and Rillaboom. Ogre Pond and Rillaboom pair up really, really well because they're both grass types and Rillaboom has grassy surge, giving all grass moves damage when that surge is out on the field. Our final two are going to be Fluttermane and Tornadus, two very strong meta Pokemon. You guys have seen them plenty of time. They just work so well in Regulation F. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Cerule Edge. First match coming at you guys for today's video. Looking to rock out with Cerule Edge, but we're going up against a Chiyu team. Like Chiyu and Fluttermane, I should say, alongside with Indeedee and Iron Crown and then Urshifu Tornado. So they have a bunch of different combos they can actually roll into. How should I play this one? Who should I even go into? I could go into Cerule Edge here or maybe make it a back-end Pokemon, which could be pretty good. I don't mind going into Cerule Edge. Do I lead it? I think so. I think we go Shrew Ledge alongside with Tornadus. I think that could be pretty good for us, especially for setting up Tailwind. We could maybe go for like a Sword Stance. That could be a pretty good play for us. So I think going into both of them is going to be good for us. Um, in the back end, Flutter Mane's not going to be bad, and Bone Boom's not going to be bad. Honestly, I could go Ting Lu. I think Ting Lu's going to be great for us as well. Ting Lu, Roll Boom? Yeah, actually, I like that the best i do like that the best even though we're leaving out a few big time attackers for us i like that the best because i can take some control of terrain on top of that a nice dark type to neutralize special attacking damage to Lu. gonna be pretty solid for us so that's gonna be my my play that's my play i like it i like it we'll see because this is a tough team for us in match number one straight meta definitely top tier combos with chiyu flutter main they have three different combos chiyu flutter main iron crown and dd and that's gotta be water earth fruit right with tornadus so they can do a lot. So our Tornadus can kind of try to counter theirs with Sunny Day. Sunny Day could be good, but at the same time, it's going to pop Protosynthesis for their Flutter main. It's just getting out of hand. They got a lot. They got a lot to deal with. So this one's going to be a tough one for us. Hopefully we can pull it out. Grab you guys win here in match number one. We'll see. Rocking out with Shrule. Trying to use this Pokemon. Trying to grab some wins for, it, for you guys. But they're going to go Flutter main and Tornadus. Um, not bad. Um... I could pop Sunny Day, maybe just go for a Bitter Blade. Poltergeist, not bad. Um, I think I am going to do that. I think I am going to pop the Protosynthesis. Let's be honest here, because they're not going to KO my Tornadus. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. I could taunt their Tornadus. How fast is my Tornadus? That's a real question. How fast are you? You're maxed out on speed. That leads me to want to taunt, taunt his Tornadus. That's going to be my play. I'm going to taunt his Tornadus. We're going to see a Terra type come out here from Fluttermane. Nothing crazy as long as I can get off this taunt. If we get off this taunt, that's a big time turn for us. Because Shrewed should soak. Unless you're going for mm, a Shadow Ball here. Could be tough news for us, but hopefully you're going for Dazzling Gleam. And no, you're out speeding me? I'm maxed out. You gotta be speed time. You gotta be speed time, which kinda sucks, man. That really does suck. Losing a speed time. I'm maxed out on speed. EVs, nature, all that good stuff. And you have mental herb regardless. That's just a terrible turn. And Dazzling Gleam's not gonna fly. So Dazzling Gleam comes out here. He now taught me if he does have it. It's gonna do a decent amount of damage. Tornado's taking some damage. And Bitter Blade now flies. The Bitter Blade flies. Love the damage output there. And we might want to just terrestrialize. Ooh, might be going for. 
Liquid Storm here. I'm just gonna protect you. I'm just gonna go for Tailwind. That's exactly what we're doing. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna go for Tailwind here. We're gonna. We're gonna. Hopefully, our Tornado dies out here, and we can just pull out another Pokemon in the back end. I should have just went with my gut and went for the Sunny Day Bitter Blade play. That would have been best. That would have been best because then their Fluttermane would have been gone. Um, we could have Tailwind this turn. They could taunt me still. They could definitely have taunt. They're just going to withdraw Fluttermane, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm going to set up our Tailwind. We're going to go into Urshifu here. So, a lot of Urshifu comes out here. We're going to protect. And we're going for Tailwind. So, we get off for Tailwind, which is massive. Big time Tailwind for us. Big time Tailwind. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here. So that's totally fine. I honestly kind of wish I had my Tornadas here. I was kind of hoping they went for a uh, Rain Dance that turn. So that could have been pretty good, pretty big for us. But now I get to bring out Rillaboom. Really Rillaboom. And I doubt they have Indeedee in the back end. It leads... It, it kinda, I'm kind of thinking they have Chiyu in the back end, right? Considering they have Fluttermane, there's really no reason to bring Indeedee. But now I get to bring you out here. And if you're Water Tower type, that's just massive for us. That is just massive. It's just big time. Big time turns for us. So from here, I might pop a Swords Dance. But instead, I'm actually just going to attack. I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to go for a Grass God here. I could fake out if I want to. A Grass God going to be fly. If they bring out Chiyu, they bring out Chiyu. Not that big of a deal. But I think your tire type is Water. Yeah, you're going to withdraw. You're going to go into Chiyu. Or you're going to sacrifice your Fluttermane. Your call. Your call. Gonna be Chiyu. So Chiyu flies out here. No big deal. Going for a Bleak Wind Storm probably. Grass Guy going to chunk up a little bit of damage. Bleak Wind Storm gonna come out here. And who's dodging it? Cerule Edge dodged it. Okay, Rillaboom gonna take some damage. A little bit too much damage. We don't like that. And we might have to save our Rillaboom here. Bitter Blade's gonna fly. It's gonna pick up some nice damage here. Not gonna KO. But I think now is a solid turn for us to just hard swap into into what's called into Ting Lu, right? I mean, Bleak Wind Storm's looking scary. Same thing with a Dark type move. So I might just have to protect you. Go into Ting Lu. Huh? This is tough. This is real tough for me. This is real tough for me. He's definitely going for a dark move in the Cerule Edge, and he's also following through with Bleak Wind Storm. Still just gonna swap in the team, though. We need to get these Vessels of Ruin out here. So they are... They got me in a pin situation here. These meta Pokemon are just taking a whip damage on a few of these guys. Ruin can clean up a lot, but I need to get rid of the Shiyu now. So I'm gonna protect. My Terra type doesn't really help me with Cerule Edge, which is a problem. That's just a big time problem. We might have to sacrifice. We might have to sacrifice my Rillaboom here. You end up doubling down here. That's a, that's absurd. You read that protect. That's oh man. I might just have to hope we eat up a bleak this one. I don't know. This Dark Pulse KOs us, man. KOs, you know, we're gonna sacrifice a Rillaboom here. We're sacrificing a Rillaboom. And we'll go for Stop Attachment in this slot. That's the play. We're sacrificing Rillaboom. We're bringing back, him back out onto the field. He's gonna set up another Tailwind. That actually works fine. I was gonna say, hopefully they set up another Tailwind instead of Bleakman's Storm. But Dark Pulse is gonna KO Rillaboom regardless. So we're gonna sacrifice a Rillaboom here. We're hoping Stop and Cantrum can KO, because if Stop and Cantrum can KO, we have somewhat of a shot. And it does. If Stop and Cantrum KOs, are they going to bring back out... That's the real question. Are they going to bring back out Urshifu? My Tailwind's now gone. It would be great if Ting Lu outsped there. We are in a, such a tough spot. So we still have Terra. They're bringing back out Urshifu. We're kind of forced to rationalize our Shrew Edge here. Um, but going into grass, it's like, dude, this is tough. I'm going to have to go for a Poltergeist. I could protect you, but 
if you're going for Surge Strikes, you're just going to hit through. And we're just going to have to double down into this Urshifu. Double down into Urshifu. Let's do it. Gonna have to. Gonna have to. So out comes Surge Strikes, or this is my Terror type. Hopefully Surge Strikes is flying into this slot. We can hope. Liquid Storm might be flying as well, which is a little bit of a problem. But we'll see. We'll see. Surge Strikes is flying into the slot. That's not a bad Terra. As long as you can eat up a Bleakman Storm, we have a shot at this. I mean, Vessels of Ruin is out and about, which is not bad. Which is not bad at all. Bleakman Storm's gonna fly. Can you eat this? You do. Thank you, Vessel of Ruin. I kinda wish we had Shadow Sneak here. Walter guy's gonna come out here. I'm gonna attack him. This thing's Choice Scarf. I think it's gonna do nice damage, isn't it? Not enough, man. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough damage. And that really just just loses us the match there. So trying to use Rule Edge here against these meta Pokemon, real tough. Man. Definitely real tough. Because now I can't just protect through. I really just can't protect through. I am gonna go for Bitter Blade. I'm gonna look to finish you off with the Stomping Tantrum. This one's just wraps, man. We need that KO onto that Urge Field. He's gonna go for a Rain Dance. Rain Dance is gonna neutralize our Bitter Blade damage, but you're just gonna KO yeah, Ting Lu. I was gonna say. You're just gonna KO Ting Lu. Drool Edge stands no chance here. I do have a berry, but yeah, this is this berry not helping us out at all. At all. If you didn't pop Rain Dance, we actually probably would have won this match. That Rain Dance might have just won him the match. Because if you think about it, if they don't pop Rain Dancer, I mean, they probably just pop Leaf and Storm. Yeah, I mean, it's over. Never mind. I lied. I lied. Bitter Blade's going to fly. I don't think we can KO now. Almost does. And it was a solid match, but super tough for us, especially going up against these meta Pokemon. Thought we almost made a big time comeback there. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. But we put all their Pokemon rather low. We took out their Chiyu. Water Main was one tap. I think our mistake there was maybe sacrificing our Rolboom because Rolboom would have been massive here. But I'm just going to run this match. We are 0 1. Let's go hop into our second match. Look for our first victory. So, guys. We stay going up against the meta. Match number two on its way, and we're still going up against top tier Pokemon. Shen Pao, Urshifu, Raging Bolt, Fluttermate, Incineroar, Tornadus. We need a win here. We need a win here. We're 0 1. We cannot go 0 2. We don't want to go 0 2, I should say. But Pokemon that I believe they're going to lead is going to be probably Tornadus, right? Or Tornadus is maxed out on speed, and we might want to try to win the 50 50 battle again. Totally maxed out on speed, which is gorgeous. And I think we're going to try to win the 50-50 battle. We're going to go into Tornadus here. If they go Tornadus, we're going to try to taunt them. It's going to be my play. You could be Metal Herb. You could be Covert Cloak. Let's be honest. This could be tough. We might just not even want to do that. But um, I'm going to go into Tornadus. Um, our second Pokemon. So Rule Edge in the back end actually seems pretty good. I could see them potentially leading like Incineroar. Honestly, we might just want to lead to Rule Edge here. Yeah, I'm going to end up leading Cerule Edge. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I do like this. So I'm going to go Cerule Edge. I'm going to go Tornadus here. And then in the back end, Rollaboon could be decent. I think Fluttermane's going to be solid. And do I go Ting Lu? Do I take the reach on Ting Lu? Or do I go in with Ogre Pond? I feel like it's either Ting Lu or Ogre Pond. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ogi. I'm leaning towards Ogre Pond. I just like it a lot. Going to be super effective onto that Urshifu can hit hard onto the, or gonna be super effective onto Incineroar, can hit hard on pretty much the rest of the Pokemon. It's gonna be my play, that's the play. So, looking to grab ourselves the first win with Cerule Edge in today's video. On one, last match, we got, we got ripped. We did get ripped. Like, hit a point in the match where it was like, dang, dude, they saw all their Pokemon, but they were all kind of low HP, we put them all in pretty low HP. But I think sacrificing our will wasn't the play, let's be honest. But we're gonna see, we're going to see Shen Pao come out here. And as much as I want to just Tailwind attack, I might just Tailwind attack. I might Tailwind Terra attack. Because if anything's going to come out here, it could be Sucker Punch. I think I'm just going to double down. I think I'm going to double down with Terra. That's going to be my play. Shen Pao could go for Ice Spin. Could go for Ice Spin, which... Would leave us in a tough situation, but I doubt you take out my Tornado here. I think you go after my Cerule Edge. So I'm gonna let him set up Tailwind. I think he goes Tailwind, maybe like Sucker Punch into into Cerule Edge or something like that. And then we're gonna double down into the Shen Pao, try to get rid of it, and then set up Tailwind the next turn. That that's that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. 
Sucker Punch is flying through here. Good call for us to hit that terror button. Show me Tailwind. That's big time turn for us. That's a big reach for us. That's big reach for us. That's big reach. Because now I double down into you. I get off Sash. I wish that didn't do too much damage. Because I wanted Sludge to do most of the damage. To pick up the KO. But hey. Be like that. I wanted more HP back. I wish Shrewl Edge would win first, but still, I like that play off. So we get rid of Shen Pao, that Pokemon's off the field, it's gone. We don't gotta deal with it, we had to use our Terra for that one, but still, I like it. I like it. Now I can pop a Tailwind of my own. We can have the staggered Tailwind turns, which is great. And he's gonna go into Incineroar, which is not bad. I mean, we have Flash Fire. You can fake me out. I can protect if I want to. I doubt you fake out Tornadus, right? I might just attack at this point. I could swap. I think we just protect him. We kind of read out what we're just going to do here. The Bleakwind Storm probably coming out here, right? Let's be honest. Bleakwind Storm probably coming out here. We'll see. We'll see. That's the only problem with the Grass Tower. A lot of flying type Pokemon. A lot of flying type Pokemon. I'm gonna protect Surreal Edge. We might want to save it. And we get off our Tailwind, which is huge. Massive. We love our Tailwind. We love our Tailwind. And there's a Bleakwind Storm, which is terrifying. The Bleakwind Storm's gonna fly here. Probably a Flare Blitz into my Tornado slot. No big deal. If you take out Tornadus, that's fine by me. You're gonna go for a knockoff. You're gonna look to double down into Surreal Edge. Okay. I'm gonna air slash you, and I might just swap. This is tough news. If you're going for knockoff, you're looking to double down into this guy. We might just want to sacrifice our Surreal Edge here. I think we let Surreal Edge go. Maybe we dodge Bleakwind Storm. Maybe we dodge one. Air slash has a flinch chance, too. Nope. They end up landing. No problem. Double KO for that. Okay. Not bad. We're, we're out terror right now, but I still have two very strong Pokemon with a staggered Tailwind. Yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to swap Surreal Edge right there. And sacrifice big time damage off the Ogre Pond. Yeah, that would have been a problem. It's not happening. We, we just weren't dealing with it. Yeah, so actually, I, li I like the, the play call that we made. I really do. But I get to bring out Ogre Pond. On top of that, I get to bring out Fluttermane. And Fluttermane, I'm going to say Dazzling Chaos Tornadus. I'm really hoping it does, because if it doesn't, then we're in a sticky situation. But from here, we're going to dash and gleam, and I think we're just going to follow through with a Ivy Cudgel. You outspeed him, right? You don't. You're not going to outspeed. You are not going to outspeed. I still think we attack. I still think we attack. I don't have Terra, but I still think we attack here. My Pokemon should be able to soak up shots. Bleakwind Storm shouldn't KO us. They could terrestrialize it in Cinnamon. Let's see. Yep, there's Terra in Cinnamon. Water in Cinnamon. But you got grass in Cinnamon. Fire in Cinnamon. That's not good for you. That's not good for you. <laughs> it helps out with the fairy damage, but the Ivy Cudgel falling through, which Ogre Punch should soak. Thank you. You better not get a speed drop on me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bop. See you later, Incineroar. You're gone. Get a crit. You were dead regardless. I don't want to hear it. So, Incineroar drops out here. That's the going to finish him off. We have one turn left in Tailwind. Their Tailwind should end. Like I said, the staggered Tailwind turn definitely benefits us tremendously. And we're able to KO. We are able to KO. That's massive. That's massive. See, so yeah, good thing I just attacked, man. I really wish my Fluttermane was faster because I was hoping he wouldn't get off that turn. But their Fluttermane comes out here and... What's the play here? What's the play here? You aren't going to be speed, so you're going to be faster than us next turn? And right now, I'm just going to double down into you. You don't have Terra, so Shadow Ball is going to be my play. I could protect the Fluttermane, but I think our Tailwind turn is pretty good. They're going to protect their Fluttermane. They are going to protect their Fluttermane. And my play here for sure is to just... If 
follow me, Shadow Ball, right? Because I think the only way we lose this is if Dazzling Wing double KOs us. That's the only way, and I'm really hoping my Flutter Mink could soak up. So I'm going to go follow me and Shadow Ball, just in case he wants to drop Shadow Ball in the, in the slot. And my Flutter Mink. So I'm going to pop the Flutter Mink, and we're going to hope that he's going for Shadow Ball. Dazzling Wing, you should soak this Flutter Mink. Okay, all day. All day. We have special attack boosted from our booster energy. This is super effective. It's stab. You should be gone. You had booster energy as well. You're not sashed. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Come on, man. That's too easy. One and one in today's video. They just turned off their console. We love it. Let's go hop into our third and final match and uh, look for a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. And we're going up against Baskew Legion. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a while, and I absolutely love that Pokemon's design. They also have Arch Ludon. Alongside Pelipper, they got Dragonite Shen Pao, which is top tier combo, and Bulbum as their final Pokemon. So we're going to have to deal with Rain. We do have Sunny Day on this Tornadus, which is great. And I'm, I am going to end up leading that Pokemon. So Tornadus, you are definitely going to be a friend of ours. I could go into maybe like Swirl Edge turn one here. Maybe just like Grass Terror if we have to. I think that could be pretty good. Hmm. I do like Robum. I do like Shrew Edge. We're going to go Shrew Edge here. We're going to go Shrew Edge. If they want to end up leading like Shen Pao Dragonite, that could be a little scary. I mean, we do have Ghost type to kind of dodge a few of those moves, but I do like that lead. So I'm going to go. Actually, let's bring Shrew Edge as a back end Pokemon this time instead of leading it. I'm going to go into these two. I like both of these guys. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to bring Shrew Edge in a back end. And last but not least, it's either Robum or Ogre Pond. And if they end up getting Weather Control on us, Ogre Pond could be pretty good, but Robum's always solid. Robum's always solid. Especially has the high horsepower. has the best as well. High horsepower going to be good up against the Arch Ludon and the Shen Pal. So yeah, I got to bring Robum. Got to bring the Robum. So Fluttermane Tornado is going to be our lead here. Looking for a winning record. We lost our first match. Rule Edge actually did pretty good in that last match. But that one came down to the wire. I was just like, I have to follow me and hope that we can soak a Dazzling Gleam. Which I believe, I was, I was sitting there, I was, I was like, I believe we can soak a Dazzling Gleam. And we did no problem. We only did like, how much, 60 damage? Then we just shot a ball and then the, the opponent was like, nope, turned off their console. Not having it. But these two Pokemon are going to come out here. Um, I'm going to pop Sunny Day turn one. I think Sunny Day is going to be our best friend. Um, I could Terrasilize Fluttermane if I want to. Do I want to though? Because Flash Cannon... We don't like it. We don't like Flash Cannon. We don't like Flash Cannon. But Sunny Day, we gotta drop it. I could just protect you. I could swap you maybe into like Shrew Edge here. Which would not be bad. I think we do swap into Shrew Edge, especially with the sun. I wonder if they're gonna swap Pelipper here. I hope they just kinda hang out here, stay in with Pelipper. Maybe go for like a wide guard. I don't know. This thing's probably vested though. Let's be honest. I'm gonna swap to Fluttermane. So Rule Edge coming out here. And then we are setting the sun. No more rain. No more rain allowed. No more rain. Get it on at. Rain's gone. Hopefully he's going for an electro shot. Waste of turn out here. And you're going for the flash cannon, so good read for us to go into Rule Edge. Soak that up rather well. Pelipper's going for a Tailwind. How dare you? He's going to swap. We already know he's going to swap this turn. We already know he's going to swap. I'm going to I'm gonna do this, and I'm going to pop Sword Dance. Sword Dance going to be my play. So he's going to swap here, Pelipper. Um, Archer Luna, what are you doing? That's the real question. What move? I should have kind of thought about this. What do you have? Flash Cannon, Body Press, Electro Shot. And Heavy Slam, maybe? No. What else could you have? What could your final move? What's your final move? Oh, Dragon Pulse. That's, us that's, that's usually the move set. Electro Shot, Body Press. You're not swapping, which is good. I'm setting up a Sword Dance. Going for a, Oh, you have Snarl. Eh, that's okay. If I get off a Bitter Blade onto him, that's going to be good for us. I can get off Bitter Blade. We need, we need Bitter Blade. We need to Bitter Blade up. Muddy water. You should soak this. You're in the sun. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Gorgeous. Nice big time sun soak. So now you're sitting here plus two swords dance. Uh do we go do we terrestrialize? No, I think we just I think we just stay here and we go after you. 
think we just stay here. So that's perfect. So now we got off this Swords Dance here. We have Weather right now. Surprised they didn't swap Pelipper, but I'm actually happy they didn't swap Pelipper. Because now my Bitter Blade gets a Sun Boost. If they did swap Pelipper last turn, they could just swap it back in this turn. And then my Bitter Blade wouldn't have gotten a boost for the Sun. But now, I get that boost. Chances are, he's Assault Vested, so he can't protect here with Arch Ludon, right? Which is good for us. And you're going to go for a Wide Guard. No Bleak Wind Storms on my end. No Bleak Wind Storms coming out here, so this is a solid turn for us. Playing this one a little bit. Fire Slash going to fly through here, chip up a little bit of damage onto the bird, and you outspeed me? You outspeed my Cerulege? This is upsetting. You outspeed my Cerule Edge there. That really hurts, man. That really hurts. Outspeeding my Cerule Edge there. Right? We have Tailwind up? I set Tailwind. Show me I set Tailwind. If I didn't set Tailwind, that one's on me. No, I set Tailwind. How fast are you? Or how slow are you, I should say? 122, and that Arch Cerule Edge outspeeding? That's a little upsetting. That's real upsetting. But I kind of should have noticed last turn when he snarled before my Cerule Edge, but still. Yeah, I should have noticed the turn before that. All right, it's whatever. We're gonna hit this uh, Terra button with you and just start spamming Daz and Leams. Actually, no, you have Wide Guard. I'm gonna slap a Moon Blast into this thing. Slap a moon blast. Wow, dude, I thought we were getting cooking. I thought we were gonna cook with Swole Edge after this. That's upsetting, dude. That's upsetting. Basket Legion gonna fly out here. We are trash lines. Flash Cannon gonna fly here. I think we should be able to soak up at least one Flash Cannon. I think this Fluttermane can. Which could be big, because this moon blast should be able to do some big time damage. I don't think it's gonna one shot Arch Lord. That'd be very impressive. But Air Slash gonna connect here. Moon Blast gonna fly. And doing a little bit more than half. A lot more than half. That's some damage there. Stamina gonna get boosted. He's gonna go for the Flash Cannon. And you should soak, I think. Yeah, you do. That's huge. Their Tailwind's gone. I'm gonna pop the Sunny Day just in case. And this is where I just Dazzle and Gleam. And the reason I'm popping the Sunny Day just in case, it's just in case Pelper swaps in here. Because Dazzle and Liam should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. And I think their only way they're KOing me is if they swap and go for like an Aqua Jet. So I'm just going to do that. Aqua Jet, we should soak in the sun. We do. Awesome. Cool. Cool. So the Sunny Day was just a precautionary thing. Dazzle and Gleam now flies. We say bye bye to Arch Ludon and probably bye bye to Basque Legion. You survived. You little booger. You little booger. You little booger. You little bugger. So my pro synthesis is gone. Team's Tailwind is gone. Um, I really want that KO there. Let's see if they throw back out Pelipper. They might not. They do. They do throw out Pelipper. Pelipper comes out here. We're just going to pop Sunny Day. Actually, I think I'd rather just pop Tailwind this turn. Just protect you. We'll go for Sunny Day next turn, just in case they swap Pelipper, because this Pelipper might be a decoy. It's not, I was going to say. They might just put Pelipper in here, swap it out, and go from there. He's going to go for Wyguard. This is fine, because if you're going for Aqua Jet, then we go for Sunny Day next turn. You are going for Aqua Jet. Two. So we protect that. We get our Tailwind back out of battle. It's pretty massive. Um, I can pop a Sunny Day. We get Sunny Day up. So Sunny Day gonna be our friend. Let's swap into Roll Boom. That's exactly what we do. We're gonna save our lovely Flutter main for another turn. Man, this is a good match, dude. I just wish our Cerule Edge was buzzing, man. We have to use him in all three matches, though, which is good. We have to use him in all three matches. Just, just underwhelming a little bit, right? But I do love that Pokemon so much. It was so good in uh, in early formats. They end up trying to go for another wide guard. Stop reading me to go into wide guards. Go for another aqua jet, please. Go for another aqua jet, please. It's gonna do negative six damage. 
Negative five, actually. And did you just die out the life orb? Lovely. <laughs> now they can't swap weather. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. It's a big time swap for us. I knew Rollboob would be a nice little addition to the squad. And that pretty much wraps this one up, right? Water main in the back end. Who's your final guy? Let me build him of your own. Eh, gray sky looking a little scary. This one's actually gonna be close. This one's actually gonna be close. You got you get a defense boost. We do have tail and we do have a lot going on here. Uh, I'm just gonna fake out the roll boom and double down into it. Double down into roll boom. Fake out air slash. I'm not worried about the power for roll boom a little bit. This roll boom can just grass guide and kind of do some big time damage onto my Pokemon. We don't like it. We don't like it. Fluttermane stands no chance up against the roll boom. I'm gonna pick out the roll boom. Give it a little clap. Give it a little flinch action. Air slash gonna follow. Nice damage. Bring it down to half HP. And Pelper, go for another wide guard. That'd be so funny. He goes for the hurricane. Misses. I respect it though. I feel like that, that that's a must kind of play. Um, I'm gonna go for another air slash, and I'm just going to double down into this roll boom. Again, we just need to dump on roll boom. That's our whole our whole strategy here. Get rid of roll boom. Get rid of it. Go for another wide guard, dude. Go for another wide guard. <laughs> I hope so, so bad. I think I'm gonna go for another hurricane. Look to KO the Rollboom, but honestly, Rollboom might be able to soak up a Hurricane from a Pelipper. From a Paloops. Look at his little feet, dude. Look at Pelipper's little feet. <laughs> Never really noticed it. His little feet. I love Pelipper, man. Pelipper grows on me every single year, dude. I used to hate it growing up. I not like hate it, but I used to just be like, hey, why would anybody ever use Pelipper? Now that I grew up, I'm like, dude, Pelipper's the goat. Pelipper's a dog. Absolute dog. So they still have Terra. I didn't even notice that. They got a Steel Pelipper, which actually this is pretty clutch. A Steel Pelipper coming out. Air Slash flying into the Roboom, leaving it on one. We should have went for Grass God. Needs to be out speed. Wood Hammer. Bop. Get on out of here. And now Pelipper with a Steel Axe on its head, looking to complete the best comeback a Pelipper has ever done. Pelipper. Hurricane. Lands. And I survive. Okay, we do survive one of those. Got some speed cooking. And now what's the play? My tailwind's gone. We have to set up another one. We have to make sure we're out speeding. I'm gonna go for a high horsepower into the Pelper. I don't think this high horsepower can KO, but it should bring it low enough where Fluttermane can come out here, drop a shadow ball, and we call this one game, right? Honestly, yo, Pelper putting up a fight. We'd love to see a good Pelper fight here. High horsepower connecting. Leaves it on one. Maybe two. Muddy Water Flying, that's doing negative six damage. We're fine. We're fine. That's game. Wrap it up. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. 2 1 for today's video. Cerule Edge doing rather decent. Love this team all around. But I'm just going to air slash here. I'm going to follow through with high horsepower. I believe they cancel match. No way, Pelper stays in here. Yep, they cancel match. So again, 2 and 1. Nice little winning record for you guys. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Cerule Edge in ranked regulation F. A little underwhelming, but still love this Pokemon all around. I feel like we got to showcase it decently well. Just made some misplays with it, especially in the third and final match. Wish I was out speeding that Arch Luna, because that Bitter Blade, that Bitter Blade would have hit that thing like a truck. We would have got back a ton of HP, and I feel as Cerule Edge could have just pretty much sweeped the match from there, but they were out speeding us, and Snarl picked up the KO. Very upsetting. But still, I'll take a 2 1 winning record all day. That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.